So I think in 2016 we're going to see a number of new lightweight cross-country race bikes coming out. It's the Olympics, so this is a great time for bigger bike manufacturers to launch their latest bikes under their star riders. 2015 saw some interesting new bikes from the likes of BMC and Focus, uh, but yeah, I reckon 2016 there's going to be a raft of new high-end cross-country race bikes. As the owner of a number of different bikes, I find that chopping and changing seat posts between all of them for test rides is a bit of a pain. One of the products I'm therefore most excited about for 2016 is the new Magura Viron Elect electronic dropper seat post. The best thing about this seat post is that it's a wireless system. So if I do want to swap the seat post between my different bikes, I don't have the faff of trying to change around the cable system every time. This is perhaps more speculation than it is anticipation, but I'm most excited to see what could be next from SRAM. Their XX1 single ring drivetrain has been on the market for a few years now, and there's probably little doubt that uh, they're working on something to improve it with, even though Shimano's XTR is hardly pushing them to innovate. I'm looking forward to riding my long-term bike next year. It's a BMC Team Elite TE01. That's their new soft tail equipped hard tail, so there's a bit of forgiveness in the rear with a bit of elastomer. It's not new technology, but they've rehashed it and hopefully it's going to kind of bridge the gap between people that still want the responsiveness of a hardtail and a bit of the forgivingness of a full suspension bike. 29 is still there or thereabouts, but I think they're going to start getting more popular again. Uh, we're going to see a few more longer travel ones. Uh, there's a few in particular that I'm really excited about, including Evil's new bike as well. So in 2015, there's been loads of talk about 650B plus wheel size. I'm really interested for 2016 to see how tyre technology really catches up and gives us really great bikes to ride in the 650B plus wheel size. One of the big things I'm excited about in 2016 is the emergence of uh, bikes with plus sized wheels, uh, aka uh, 650B plus, aka half fat, aka six fatty. Plus size wheels have wider hubs, wider rims, meaning you can run bigger tyres. The wheels are stiffer and give you a lot more grip. I've ridden a few bikes with plus size wheels already and i um, been really impressed with how they performed. Looking forward to doing more of the same in, in 2016. So what I'm looking forward to riding most next year is the Mojo Nikolai Geometron. So what they've done with this bike is they've taken the geometry and stretched it way beyond conventional limits. So it's got a 1300mm plus wheelbase, a 63.5 degree head angle. It's one of the longest, slackest enduro bikes out there by a long way. The really interesting thing is for next year, they've got a 29 inch version. So the same geometry, the same head angle, but with 29 inch wheels. So I got to ride it very briefly a few weeks ago, but next year I'm really looking forward to putting some proper time on it.